Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My tan is so messed up right now. Anyways, um, happy Tuesday. Update on the yawning situation. Getting better. Still not quite there. Like, if you guys didn't see my last week of my life vlog, I have not been able to fully yawn in like a week. And apparently it's linked to anxiety, but like I've been the least anxious I've been in so long. So I'm very confused. I know it manifests in other ways, but like I'm not anxious. So like I don't understand. When I talk about it though, it like becomes a thing, you know, of course. I have a lot to update you on. But um, I actually got a new brow gel. Very exciting. So today is Tuesday. I've been back on waking up like really early again, but the past two days my sleep schedule got messed up again which is awesome because it hasn't been messed up in forever the first thing um i finished nashville so obviously that was a very emotional thing for me i finally watched a show two nights ago nashville of course um so that was one thing that was just like you know heartbreaking i've been reading again of course so much guys like i'm on like book i think like 26 or 27. there's something else too oh my gosh we have dead updates i'm actually gonna work out down there for the first time so you guys will see what else have i been doing i have a lot of like new purchases and stuff too that i should show you guys um my like body though this is what i'm talking about okay like right here and here and here where the tan is messed up that's actually messed up from like my real tan i got sunburned it actually turned into a tan and then it started peeling two weeks later and so now it's messing up like everything else which is like you know awesome anyway so i'm like really really tired and that's really annoying today is tuesday so i didn't run but i'm gonna go work out down in the den and then get going with my day okay guys super fun amazon purchases we have my salad spinner which is exciting. And then I got two Primal Kitchen um, like Alfredo sauces because I'm trying to make, um, I'm not gonna make it today just because I'm not really feeling anything heavy. I don't know. I'm trying to make like a healthier chicken Alfredo. So I got these. I am gonna make my Hollywood bowl from sweet cream, which I'm really excited for. Guys, we have some big dead updates. Um, question, what should I do for better lighting in here? Because this is gonna have to be fixed. Um, this couch came, you guys have probably already seen it on Instagram, but this couch came, guys, I got this couch somehow for $290, and it looks better in person. Like, I, everything, the lighting here is so ugly right now. Um, the floors have been done. There's not much, like, there's just random things like that because my concrete was really bad before. Um, but it's gonna be fine because that's gonna be covered with a rug eventually, and then my projector is here. The screen comes this week. I got two, like, beanbag chairs. I need to get a coffee table still. Okay, I just opened this for better lighting. Um, anyway, so there's gonna be like the cheap chairs. This will be very soon because this stuff's supposed to arrive this week. Still need to find a coffee table. Got this off Facebook Marketplace, by the way, for people who've asked. This is my little gym setup. Um, I hate how it's not all the way straight right now. It's driving me insane, but I'm really easy with, like I don't need a bunch of like equipment and stuff either or a huge space. If anything, I might get like a Peloton or a Stairmaster or something. But anyways, it's going to be super cute and really, really fun. And I'm really excited. So that is my den update. But I'm really great. Like, it's like the perfect couch for entertaining on like a projector and having a movie night with so many people. So I'm so excited for when I can actually like have friends over, you know? Extend leg long out to the side for 10. Nine tiny little bed little... All right, I just finished my workout. It was actually really hard. I love Melissa Wood Health so much. This is my first one in my den too. But that is it. I honestly, this is like the one day in forever that I haven't woken up at seven and I immediately regretted it. Most people like stay up late to watch Netflix and stuff and I stay up late to like finish a book in one night. You know, like something's gotta change. Anyways, I have things to do today. So I'm actually going to go shower and get ready because I have a lot to do. Okay guys. So I got a new pair of Air Force Ones because mine were absolutely trash beyond repair. I'll have them linked below. Um, they came from Nordstrom really quick and they're just the best white sneakers ever. And then I made an order on Pretty Little Thing. I already put the clothes away, but I got this self tanner that Julia Havens like swears by. So I'm really excited to try this and then I just got a new mitt because I needed it. That's a bunch of thanks things. Um, I'm doing an Instagram deal with them so I need to get all of that put together. All right, I just showered, I got ready for the day. Um, I am have like a Zoom recording, so um, my top is a little bit cuter. I'm just wearing my sweats from Talentless. I got them in a size medium. I should have gotten a size small. This is from Zara. This pink tank top is, or bodysuit is misguided. And then I just have my Amazon slippers that I've been wearing a ton. I'm letting my hair air dry. I actually did makeup, like got ready, like really ready for the day. Um, but I'm gonna go downstairs and do my Devo. 
Um, I need to prep too because we have like the Bible study tonight So I need to do a little bit more prep even though I like pretty much have everything I need my hair to just dry but like I don't have time to actually dry and do it today Also guys listen, I am, am literally a TikTok star. I mean, I'm not a TikTok star at this point, but I'm a big TikToker. All the prints you guys ask for, we've got recipes on here, my book recs, um, just like random stuff. We had this fun, oh, the sound isn't available, dang it. This video was really cute, but um, I don't know what happened. So anyways, if you guys haven't followed my TikTok, it's Kenzie Elizabeth Hay. I'm gonna start on dances soon, I think. Don't worry. But here's like an outfit of the day one. Here's mine from yesterday of what I wore. Um, but yeah, guys, you need to go follow me on TikTok. It's just Kenzie Elizabeth Hay. I got sunburnt from this outfit, but it is what it is, you know? My hair feels so weird wet ever since it got redone. Hi guys, so since today is just a one day vlog, I'm gonna share a little bit of my Devo. So many of you guys have been tagging me, which is so cool. I, it's Draw the Circle by Mark Batterson, my favorite Devo ever. Um, it's a 40 day, my mom texted me. This is the text my mom just sent me out of the blue. I would just look for an older washer and dryer because I absolutely love the set here at the lake house and they are so old. The dryer is so quick. Wow, the more you know. I have to buy a washer and dryer this weekend. So here we are, people. Fun things, you know? Anyways, I've shared um, a few of my devos and stuff in the past few vlogs. I want to do um, a video also like a week in my life with devotions, but I just have so much to say that I just feel like that video will be like 40 minutes long. Here we go, guys. New Nespresso machine that might be arriving today. We have to check. This is very important. Out for delivery. Oh my gosh. Okay, also, I've been living without lip balm for like a week and I'm waiting for a new one to arrive and there's literally not one in my house. And if you know me, you know that's like literally the biggest problem of my life because I am so like obsessed with lip products. So I just feel so weird, you know? Okay. I'm on day 18 of Draw the Circle, and it's just keep circling. The scripture is Joshua 6-4, on the seventh day, march around the city seven times. Okay, so I'm going to read my notes. Also, I started a new Shinola today. Exciting things. Big moves. We've moved on to graphing paper. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, it's like a few pages long. So I'm going to give you guys the short summary, just kind of of my notes. I feel like regardless of what you believe, this is a really encouraging like little message thing today. So yeah. So um, it's like prayer is the difference between us fighting for God and God fighting for us. Um, his situation still seems like a lost cause, but it's not over till God says it's over. If your cause is ordained by God, then the battle belongs to the Lord. It's his victory to win, not yours. These are like exact quotes. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in providence. I believe there's a God in heaven who directs our steps, who prepares good works it's hard to read out loud when you like can't really fully breathe. Okay. Who prepares good works in advance, who causes all things to work together for good, who fights our battles for us. If you pray through, there'll be breakthrough. Don't lose heart, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Keep patience, keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. God really does things how or when we expect him to and it leads us to question his strange and mysterious ways. I'm sure the Israelites questioned God's battle plan at Jericho. God told them to circle the city for seven days. It didn't make sense, but it had to feel like, and it had to feel like forever, but they kept circling. So like, obviously when you're like at battle, you, like to circle a city for seven days sounds like, you know, kind of insane and like does not make sense. So I think just in the idea of like, you feel like God's saying something and you're like, this is so confusing and like literally doesn't make any sense. And like, I don't understand, but there's like the what if and it's like what if they had stopped circling and it's like the miracle would have been forfeited right before it happened So sometimes God will push us to our absolute limits the limits of our faith of our patience of our gifts that like obviously builds faith So it's like when you quit circling you don't just compromise the present every promise every miracle every blessing your future is forfeited They kept circling and if you do keep circling the walls will come down breakthrough is inevitable Go ahead keep circling especially in times like this how many times am I like in times like this? I think especially just in like COVID, there's so many like plans and dreams and things that um, are either like paused or have kind of just been like, this isn't happening and so many things that it's like, you're just so confused and like life just doesn't seem that appealing right now. Um, and it's just the idea of like keep circling and like pushing through 
because obviously it is going to get better and if it's like a god ordained thing it's going to happen um sometimes i just think god takes you on detours so anyways i literally love this diva book i'll have it linked down below but i literally am going crazy with that lip balm guys i'm actually losing my mind i ordered the most beautiful white espresso machine that comes today as you know, very exciting. We're reading that from Ruth this week, which I've already done, but I'm gonna kind of get everything together for tonight. And then I'm actually working on like church stuff today too, but also I need to like do work. And I'm recording with Yola Roberts um, from I Suck at Life today. So we're doing that podcast um, and I'm gonna make, oh my gosh, I'm making the Hollywood Bowl from Sweet Green, which is gonna be incredible. Stay tuned. All right, I'm still in the exact same spot. Um, do I have an office in my house and do I still choose to work at my coffee table half or at my kitchen table half the time? Yes. But um, I have a vlog in the background. I'm working on some Instagram stuff for church. Wait, I was gonna vlog. Oh, this is why I was vlogging. Okay, I set a timer. Oh my gosh, 20 minutes. That's not gonna be enough time. Oh, I just like have been sitting my phone in literally a puddle of water. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Like literally what's wrong with me? Oh my gosh. Guys, my kitchen table. Oh my gosh, the CBT one literally was thousand dollars and I like hate to even say that because I like hate myself for it but um and it just stains all the time which is so annoying but I finally got um I ordered on CB2 placemats which is really exciting also oh my gosh I have a new bonus solo episode so by the time this week's episode goes up who are we posting this week actually now that I think about it oh we're doing Hannah Ashton so um we're having Hannah Ashton on the podcast this week which is already up when this vlog goes up. And then also we had a bonus solo episode um, of myself all about my new life as a breadwinning housewife because somehow I have turned into a literal housewife over quarantine and I'm not a wife. And yeah, I guess that's really the only thing that like doesn't make sense. But like, you know, we've been through this cooking, organizing, working at my house nonstop, working out. Like I just do all the housewife things, but also like with a spice of breadwinning, you know what I mean? So anyways, we talk all about that, all my book reads. I'm on book 26 of quarantine. Like, it's really something um, to answer your questions on how I'm reading so much. I just don't really watch TV. So, like, if you factor in how much time you normally spend watching TV, you would probably read that many books, too. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially during quarantine. So, I'm really excited for what I'm working on right now. Like, I'm actually probably, I'm literally just so freaking excited. Um, I've actually been watching The Morning Toast lately as well. Didn't think I was into it for a long time, and, like, I don't know. I literally think that Jackie is like the prettiest, most perfect human being ever. And then I'm actually recording. I'm obsessed with Margaret. I'm obsessed with all of them, but I'm actually recording with Margaret this week. So I'm really excited. So check out the new podcast episodes. The reason I even started recording is because I normally, I like put a timer on for like 40 minutes of, um, oh, I need to upload a vlog. I'll put a timer on for like 40 minutes and it's like, you have this much time to do this, but I need it more. So anyways, basically what I was saying is life hack set timers like I do that when I clean all the time so I don't just like lolly on my phone and I have to get it done um it's like the adult equivalent to like don't step on the floor like the lava game to me you know what I mean no one's gonna understand that all right guys exciting things are happening my Nespresso has arrived I'm also roasting chicken um because I'm making the Hollywood Bowl if you guys don't know sweet green is like the best salad place ever and the Hollywood Bowl is my favorite salad and since I've really actually become a chef I thought my next thing that I need to perfect would be salads, and I have kind of last week. I made some really good kale salads, but I wanted to make the Hollywood Bowl because it's my favorite. So anyways, we're working on that. I'm probably not going to eat that for lunch, though. I'm just going to roast the chicken and then recording from 3 to 5 and then make it for dinner. I'll show you guys, and I'm also going to make a TikTok, so very fun. Anyways, I'm so excited. This is like the most beautiful Nespresso machine, and I actually would love to make a coffee. Right now, I'm going to be at the lake house on Monday to Wednesday. But if it's not that, then I can pick you up. Um, just planning things with my cousin. Okay, so here we go. This most beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> Guys, oh, okay, so life hack. This Nespresso was originally like $400. It's on sale currently on Amazon for like $100 off, which I still was like, I'm not gonna spend that money because I have an espresso, it's in LA, blah, 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 whatever. Then I forgot about the like new thing on Amazon, which is what I always use to buy my cameras. <laughs> So if you go on Amazon and you go to the like new tab, you can get things like so cheap. Like I got my camera for like $400 at originally like a thousand. Anyway, so I ended up getting this for 150 and one of you guys DM'd me and reminded me about it. And so I found it for $150 guys. <gasps> I'm so excited. It is like beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
We're gonna, we should probably just move over to my coffee corner. This is like so exciting, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Like, I got all of these new pods off Amazon, and then I also got, actually I'll show you, a bunch of um, Four Sigmatic stuff, so I'm really excited. To okay, I have some tortellini left over, so I decided I'm gonna make tortellini for lunch just so um, I can get that out of my fridge. This is probably my most boring meal I've made. I just cut up a bunch of tomatoes, garlic. Um, I didn't wanna use the kale because I wanna use that for a salad later. And then I use like a Primal Kitchen no dairy um, Alfredo sauce. Like this is not what I would normally even want. I'm honestly just kind of in a rush, and I um, really actually need to go grocery shopping. I've been cooking so much that all my food is like gone. So gotta figure that out. This looks absolutely beautiful and incredible. I have to figure out how to use it, um, but I need to make a coffee like right now. So that is the plan, guys. This is just the cutest thing ever. I'm in my office. The tragic um, reality of my life, which I just ordered a fan. Why do I do this? Every time I'm recording a video, I start talking to the mic. I look like a grandma right now. I just ordered a fan, um, which I'm going to use in my office, but I'm going to start using it in my den until I get my den insulated. But it's just hot in here, always. But the rest of my rooms are freezing, and um, I literally can't breathe. So actually talking for two hours is going to be something, because I'm recording today with Yola Roberts of I Suck at Life. It's another podcast with Tier Media. I'm doing so many podcast swaps this week, like... I'm recording with Whitney Port from The Hills, Sister Diaries with the Orlando Sisters. Who else am I recording with? Oh my gosh, Margot Oshry, which is exciting. That's not a swap, but who else? I need to come on Google Calendar. I don't know, guys. Honestly, I've gotten so much done today, but I'm like realizing how much lit of me doing this again. I'm realizing how much I need to do still. And after this, I need to cook and then do the Bible study and then figure it all out. <sighs> so here we are. All right, guys, I have been recording for the past like three and a half hours. Um, I'm about to go downstairs and make some dinner. I realized like today is just one of those days where I'm so mad at myself for sleeping in a little bit because I needed to wake up early because I have so much to do. Update on my yawning situation. It's going, it's getting a little bit better. So I'm gonna head downstairs right now and start on the Hollywood Bowl salad, which is very exciting. I just whacked myself in the head with my phone charger. My favorite time of the day when I'm not stressed out, which I have a lot to do right now, so I'm a little bit stressed. Like, I literally haven't felt any amount of stress in quarantine, probably like two months at this point. Okay, my settings were off. But anyways, the recording was great. Um, I did a bunch of other stuff. I did make a to-do list, and like, it just keeps getting piled on with more and more stuff, and I really just want to read tonight, but I think I might have some work after the Bible study, so we'll see. Anyways, um, my latte was incredible. I'm actually going to start on our beautiful Hollywood Bowl now, the long-awaited, very exciting portion of this vlog. Guys, I actually have really good news. Um, oh, I hate this fridge. Let's move over here. Okay, I actually have really good news. I, I think that I actually don't have to work after the Bible study tonight, and I can read my new book. I don't even know if I mentioned this today. I think I have, but Liv Constantine's new book came out. Which is actually two people, but you know what I mean, whatever. I mean, you don't know what I mean, like why would you know what I mean? Whatever, you get what I'm saying. So I'm really excited for that to come out. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So we're gonna make the Hollywood Bowl. I found the recipe on their Facebook, like it's nowhere else on the internet besides their Facebook. So we're gonna use that. I'm currently roasting some chicken. I have my stuff out for the salad. I'm about to um, de-stim all the kale and clean that. Listening to the morning toast and I'm eating my second bag of smart sweets for the day Literally so freaking good like if you guys haven't had smart sweets before you need to like run to Whole Foods Okay, because it's like that good Okay, I just like majorly messed this up so it like doesn't look as pretty as it once did but I made my Hollywood Bowl so good if you guys want the full recipe and stuff it's just on my TikTok, but um, I'm a huge fan and I'm very proud of myself and I have everything ready for tomorrow. It looks so good. Wow, so beautiful. Look at us go. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I think I'm not, guys. Yeah, that's definitely probably wrong. Even when we die, he'll be there with us. So I think that it's like the little things that even when we're like... All right, guys, um, I'm off of the Bible study. This one went by so fast. Val's about to FaceTime me because we always FaceTime right after these. It went by so fast. Seriously, it's such a good one. I feel like she's calling me right now. At the end of it, everyone, like, literally, okay, silk scrunchie. 
We're all buying these silk scrunchies on Forever 21 because they're like a dollar each, I guess. But I'm gonna wait till they post. Oh my gosh, no, she's serious. Love these big silk scrunchies. And I was actually thinking the other day how I need more, but they have them on like every color. And they're a dollar each. That is so incredible. See? Val laptop. So, knew it. Okay. So, what you guys have all been waiting for, I'm finally answering. Um, all of your questions this is like such a weird thing to have to do on the internet but like i live a weird life so i've been getting so many questions q and i are no longer together i know i know i know i know i've been getting so many questions and honestly just like out of respect for the situation i didn't feel right like coming on days later and saying something i'm not the only person involved in this and just like out of respect, I think, for the relationship, I wanted to give it a few weeks. I, like, don't really even have much to say on this topic. I Like, this isn't the case of, like, oh, you don't know what happens, like, off camera or anything. Like, we had a really great relationship. It was probably, honestly, better off camera. Like, it's not a, like, oh, secretly this was, like, really bad or horrible. Like, it's really not even about the relationship. I think sometimes just, like, life happens. I know, like, a lot of you guys are probably, like, really, really confused and shocked. And I think, like... I don't know, I think to be fair, like, we were both kind of in that place. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I just, obviously, I needed to address it on here so we can just move on. And, like, I don't want questions about it anymore. I don't want to be, like, asked about it. Not in the sense of, like, obviously, like, it, he was on my channel. Like, obviously, I was always going to answer. But it's also, like, I'm moving on with my life and I don't want to, like, see that all the time. I think also just in the past, like, I mean, obviously, in the past few months, like, my life has changed so much to the point where it's, like, actually insane but i think just over the past like month just like being alone has been so unbelievably good for me i also think it's really important like wherever you're at in life to like lean into that season i don't want to miss what like, i feel like god has for me in this time of my life like relationship and like breakup aside there's so much more that's going on in life i don't want to miss what god has for me in this time and like i want to get everything that i can out of this season i think just kind of like leaning into that has been really good and also just like I, when you ever have like a month period of time where you're like by yourself in your house like it's actually been absolutely incredible <laughs> like i know that sounds ridiculous and obviously there are times that like suck in our heart and like we're quarantined and everyone feels you know whatever there's like highs and lows 100 percent. but i think Overall, I think I've grown more probably in this past month than I have in my entire life. I feel like a completely different person. Not that I didn't like myself a month ago. Like, I think it's just, I've just grown so much. And again, like, I always sound like a hippie when I'm, like, learning, growing, whatever. I think it's, like, I love who I am, and I love where I'm going, and I love even where I'm at, honestly. And the people in my life, like, the relationships I do have are so like incredible that's all i have to say the relationship is great he's so great like there's nothing bad it honestly had literally nothing to do with the relationship that's pretty much all i have to say i think this is like the best community in the entire world i literally think this all the time and i'm so grateful for you guys i feel like i have friends literally everywhere and i love you guys so much and i'm so grateful for this like just group of people that we have like all across the world that i feel like is such a tight-knit group of people and you guys are so supportive and like literally the best people ever so i love you guys um that's pretty much all i have to say it's a very weird thing to like have to like do this on the internet um oh my gosh wait <gasps> that's so cute my friend liz just sent me uh we were talking about silk scrunchies in the bible, literally in the at the end of the bible study on the group zoom and it's literally like the most beautiful silk scrunchies i've ever seen in my entire life i like don't know how to end this portion of the vlog but Anyways, moving on with life. Okay, so I don't even know what's on there right now. Um, I do have like a little bit of work that I need to do, but I'm also like, I don't know. I also have so much energy. This is the problem. Like I got my sleep schedule so great and now I'm back to like staying up so late and this is just like not what I need to be doing right now. So we've got to figure that out. Maybe I'll get a lot of work done today, but I have a run at 7 a.m. So I need to like, you know, go to bed. All right, guys, giving you a little mini book review. I am obsessed with Colleen Hoover right now. I read Verity and then Regretting You, and I'm obsessed. I'm going to read Liv Constantine's new book, which I pre-ordered, so it actually should be on my Kindle. And yeah, I finished this last night. It was just so good. Like, I loved it. I think Colleen Hoover is just like a mastermind because she does it all. She does thriller, romance, you know, like doll. Like, she really does it all, you know? So I pre-ordered The Wife Stalker, which is Liv Constantine's new book. Um, it's downloading right now. I have been waiting for this for so long and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, my hair looks crazy. I just took it out of the bun. But hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, it's 9.30 and I've just been working. I actually edited this entire vlog already. And I'm just going to get some work done from my computer because I know it's going to make me feel like less anxious. And then I can wake up for my 7 a.m. run. It's going to be incredible. But hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon.